Hello fellow humans and others if you're watching. So in the last episode we were hoping to get to 36,000 in population. So we only got up to 35 in a bit. So before I started today's episode I added in this little area over here. We take a look at what I've zoned in. All the residential hasn't grown in, but uh, I've got offices along the edge and a couple of spots of uh, commercial scattered in. Those are all filled in. So it must have been other areas where we actually uh, got our population up. Probably down in this neck of the woods down here. We still have a lot of space down there that can fill in. But we actually did get up to 36,000. So now we have another square unlocked. So we are going to unlock which square? Okay, we are going to unlock the square here. Here. That one, 15,200. Okay, and that brings us a little bit closer to our ore, which we are going to be needing. But still need two more. Get over to that area. Whichever way I do it, if I go up or over. Okay, so our next two are at 48 and 70,000. So that's quite a bit of development that we need to do just to get up there. Okay, but uh, for the rest of today's episode, we're going to start by leveling this out a bit. Okay, let's bring all that up to that height there. Okay, that's more like what I wanted. It was terrain height that I wanted to get to. And a couple of really big dips there, so. Straight out. Actually, that was way too close to that, so why don't we just get rid of that node? Okay, and that looks much better. Okay, so today's objective. We are going to be bringing our train out from down here, out through this neck of the wood. So we're going to be destroying a lot of what we just built and bring that up to somewhere around here, I think. Take a look at what our terrain says. Okay, so that's not too big of a hill. Still, it is considerable. I'm kind of contradicting myself there. Yeah, that's a pretty big hill. Okay, so a bit of a change of plans here. Yeah, I hadn't taken into account the uh, terrain. So we're going to be building a transport hub over in this neck of the woods. So I'll have a connection coming off the highway for that. Possibly going through over or through the uh, hill here and connecting into this road. It can also mean connect up our main thoroughfare here. So instead of going out and around that way, we are going to bring our train line out along the edge of the city tile here until we can open up this this one and make it look a little bit better. So we're going to bring that over here. Then we're going to make it make this a major transport hub. Okay, I may wind up having to flatten this out to uh, increase our plantation, our farming area. We'll have to see what future holds in store for us. Okay, so first thing that we need 
just make sure that I can line things up properly. Let's just bring this over. Snapping it is on. You know what? Let's just go with the same road. That will be a major thoroughfare. And I'm just following this contour line around. So we want it coming out there. Okay, there we go. Have our tunnel in going through. Okay, so what am I going to do for connectivity over here? Well, I'm going to try something a little bit different for me anyway. Okay, so I am going to control O for magic roundabout. Go down to three lane road. Let's bring that out just a little bit further. Okay, three lane road is selected. Let's bump up the size of that. Okay, I may need to move this back a little bit as well. Now let's see how things go. Back to our regular road. Let's come off there. Let's go up and over our highway. Actually, that's not too bad a slope. Down to ground. Stand that out just a little bit there. Okay, I want to go a little bit further. Up there. Okay, that's more like it. You can do that. Okay, and if I'm not mistaken, this is called a dumbbell interchange. Okay, and these are a little bit off just because we uh, are coming across at an angle here, so they're not going to be symmetrical. And once this finishes, finishes saving, then we can... Turn that around so it's all facing in the right direction. Okay, so off and around. Yep, everybody's connected in. I don't like the angle on that. I be. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, let's do a little bit of highway mathematics here. Go with Two lane highway and upgrade these sections here. And a little bit of anarchy never hurt anybody. Okay, so our lane maps are correct. Our dumbbells are in in place. Back in here. Just want to continue on this road here. And these are probably going to be some major intersections. Okay, so we have that. Now let's uh, figure out where our train line is going to go. So we've already got the track selected. Now this is going to look absolutely horrible. Just do a level crossing here, if it'll let me. Okay, and from there, why are you not letting me do that? Just come a little bit further. Okay, it was just too close to the other node there. Okay, so that was a little bit weird. 
I had to go up a little bit higher than I wanted to there. Let's connect that in. It's going to be ugly, I know. Okay, and I'm going to pause here for a second because B wants some attention. Okay, so we're back. Cat's already taken care of. Now that is really ugly, and it is definitely not going to stay like that. This is just so that I can get the line in. Okay, slowly lower this down. Our terrain is coming up so we can come down to meet it. That looks a little more reasonable. It's almost level. Okay, then we can follow this hill around. All right, and why don't we try one of our connection modes? Let's create curve. And there, there. That looks really good, actually. This gentle curve, it cuts into the side of the hill just a little bit. Yeah, okay, but I can live with that. Have a little trench there. And that might be going through a bit of our park. I don't have anything set there. Okay, even better. Okay, so now I need to work out where I'm going to be putting our train station. Originally, I wanted it over here. So that's not possible. Of course, I had this thing set up incorrectly, so let's go back to that. We have that set. Now let's take a look at what kind of stations that we have here. We have our regular station, which we aren't going to be using. Hubs. Ship Metro Train, those are the ones we want. Train Metro, I don't want that. I can get multiple lines coming through like that. Not exactly where I want it. Okay, just moving things along here. I I noticed that the uh, train tracks here are all elevated. So I need to destroy them and put them in again. Till they come to a place where they are back down to ground. And it looks like they never do. All right, so now I'm just gonna take out this entire section where it is Still up in the air, which is from here. Turn that off, I have that. I create connection mode. Create curve, I should say. And let's see if that did what it's supposed to. Just back down onto ground. So we're all set there. Button again. Now I just need to figure out which one of these tracks I want this guy to come into. So we can pull one off from here and basically follow this road. Take that over onto that, that side up into this area and even bring it down this way. Take one off of here and take it up out. We have this one coming here and then we can I have another one coming out parallel and take it off that way. Possibly even another one coming out 
going through this area, going off into here. Okay, so I need one, two, that would be the third one in. Just let that run so that I'm not losing all kinds of money out of there. First, I need to figure out where all my train lines are going. So one out there, one down here, one in here. Okay, so I would need three crossings. Okay, so this first one is going into there. Second one will come down here, third out there. Okay, so the one that's on our right from the way we're looking at it. One that I want. Might be a little bit sharp around that bend. Use a little bit of move it. And sure, I'll bring these other lines out. Uh, parallel. Just for a little bit, just to connect them up here. Add a little bit of space in between. Let's go up to 15 meters. And same again. There. there. Meters, okay. Great curve mode. Wrong shape. Okay. And those are not on the ground, are they? No, they are not. Okay, so I just need to make road connections here because you can see that we're having garbage collection issues and police issues. Now that we have our train connection in, let's uh, actually add in a line. Okay, now I have no idea how that is going to work. I just want to change the color on that. Green. Okay, two vehicles. Capacity of 240, okay, that should be enough. More than enough for now. I mean, there is nothing out here at the moment. Okay, so what else do I need out here to make that worthwhile? I could probably use a bus stop out here. Okay, let's actually add a bus station in here. That we will need to add a node. Okay, actually, I've got one right there that should be good for what I need. Just to put in a crossing. Get there. Okay, that teal line is already pretty long. And to stop right about there so that we have a good transfer between our uh, lines there. Okay, stop right outside our subway station. Let's bring one in here. 
and take that all the way back out. Fine. Yeah, I'll have, probably have to uh, reroute that so it's going going up along this side here. And yeah, let's mirror this line. So let's start one there. Oh, and a couplet there so I can't mirror that. There. Across the street from that one and I believe we go straight on back. Okay, so we have bus lines in there. Now we need to give people a reason to come out here. All two people. Slightly different road connection there. Let's come off of here. Okay, so first thing that we are going to do out here is make this a bit of an entertainment district as well entertainment and business. But I had mentioned in the previous video that I thought there were too many venues here. So we are going to take, I think it's that one. Yeah, there's only 63 visitors at Maple Leaf Gardens, 335, 445. So going to move Maple Leaf Gardens all the way up there. Not enough water. And just cheat a bit and cut that right across. Okay, so he does have power. And we have lots available. Your sewage treatment is getting low. So let me just take care of that and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so that was our sewage treatment taken care of. Uh, let's see. Saving again. So what can we put in here to make things a little bit more reasonable? I think we'll start with a large parking lot. On that side. And the Rico. Low density. And of course, since it's beside Maple Leaf Gardens, we're going to put in a Tim Hortons right beside it. There we go. And I saw a gas station back here. Okay, and this is probably not going to last, but I'm just going to extend this out a bit. There, and just, just to make a loop going around. And I broke our electricity connection, so let's stick a little bit of commercial in there. Okay, and I really don't think I have enough room for a park. So I do want to put a crossing in there. Okay, and then I'll want a path to get from entrance to the train station over. snapping off of this. Okay, so we have a connection over to our little entertainment district here. Uh, well, what else will go good in here? A little bit of high density commercial, I think. Okay, and this could all get blown up pretty soon. We'll have to see how things go. Definitely want a park of some kind. I did say that. Uh, balloon tours. Yeah, sure. Put one of those in before. Okay, 
give people a reason to come out here as well. I think maybe some kind of theater. Okay, this is one that I haven't used before. So let's put that in. That was the Stats Theater. Okay, that'd be a theater. Let's go with a cinema. That's a basic one as well. Let's, okay. Okay, I will have train lines coming out here, so yeah, this is going to be changed quite a bit in the future. But one thing we can do is start building out on this side. Okay, so we have this little area set up over here. Okay, and putting offices in along there and there. Let's put in a park or two. Come on. Because this is going to be small playground. That works. A residential district for over here. I think we'll go with low density over here. Change that up to high on this, those two spots in there. Saving. Actually, let's change that out to commercial. All right, just so that these things don't crap out on me. That they don't abandon. Let's hook that in. And we need our services out here as well. Instead of creating a new line, why don't we just find the one that uh, goes in between the two terminals down there and then extend that out so it's a three-way. So we have bus lines going all the way around. Actually, why don't we bring that in here so that we have uh, stop each it's stopping in here going each way. I did not set up the roundabouts here. Those guys are all set and ready to go. Let's expand this out just a bit and bring that right down to the edge of the uh, city tile here. Okay, so we've got our road network in. We just need to add in a few things along here. Playground sounds good. This is mostly residential. Uh, we do need services out here. Our police coverage doesn't extend all the way down here. Police. Fire station, that looks a little bit older. Medical clinic. Yeah, it's a playground there, so of a school or something right across. Crematorium can go out by the highway. Education. Our cheapy school there. And library, it's a high school. Find something small that would fit in that corner like that. Okay, and university I won't bother with. Let's go to our libraries. Do we have Something relatively cheap. 25, 27, 1,000. Relatively cheap, that's pretty small. Let's bring that up here. Like that. Okay, now where am I going to zone things? Okay, I'll stick with the high density along here. I 
think in this neck of the woods we'll go with a whole bunch of low density commercial. Low density residential, is that it in? We have our medical clinic and library, so let's split this one in half. That and blend the rest of that with low density residential. Continue on with our offices along the edge. Spot a commercial in there. This is all along there. Okay, and I think we need a bus lane, bus route coming out here. Okay, and I don't think that I need a uh, counterclockwise version of this. It's, everybody's all close together there. Okay, so things seem to be going pretty good. I do need a bit of garbage road coming off of here. Our garbage processing in over here. Okay, it's just uh, noise pollution. Okay, it's kind of spider webby out here, so let's get that line. Okay, so we're back here. And it looks like it's uh, just starting to fill in a little bit down here. Let's click on that. So we have a few buildings that are popping up. And wonder what the land value is like here. Yeah, it's not bad. Could be better. Uh, considering you have a uh, highway and train lines going down right beside it, it's uh, pretty good. That's right about the middle, so that's what you would expect for commercial zoning over here. Now, one thing that I did miss out, I don't have a subway over here. Oh, I do have a... <laughs> I put this one in and didn't even realize there was a subway line in there already. Saving the game. Just bring this straight on over. Into there. And then just come out the other side. And then we can build a line going from here. To there. Out to and then just mirror it back. Let's change the color of that. Let's change that one as well while we're here. And let's see. Okay, we have four trains on there. That's probably way too many. Let's cut that in half. Okay, just saw a train going out there. I just want to make sure that everything is working. Okay, yep. I just saw a train going by there. 337 passengers. That's really good. And our other train station has 585. All right, so our transit is working pretty good here. Okay, so we still have lots of room for expansion in here. And I have expanding. Education was too low, okay. Now, once again, that's just a matter of time. Public library, 111, that's really good. Elementary school is 408. 
update, see how we're doing as far as capacity goes. And to capacity there, or high schools. We need to put more high schools in there. I need another high school out here in Rosewood Heights. A good place to put that, I think, out here. And we're still short. Okay, and that got us up into the green, so we're good for high schools now. See people starting to grow. And our demand, we still have lots of demand for commercial and industrial, but none for residential. This is not filling in. So I think to meet that demand, we are going to expand our farming area a little bit. Okay, let's extend these roads out. Back to our industrial road. Okay, so we have small crop field. Let's turn that off. Add in medium crop fields. Medium fruit field, would that fit? Now if we put them over there. Just need to add some water in along this way. Off and our animals. Large animal pasture, we need to have level five to get that. Flower mill, we have two of those, do you believe? Nope, just the one. Okay, so let's back that off a bit and put in another flower mill. Okay, so we have the flower mill. Rattle shed and milking parlor. Okay, so we just upgraded that. Let's go with the slaughterhouse that we just got. Oh, that's big. Okay, and we just got the large barn. Put one of those in because we're going to have an influx of trucks when that happens. And we will want a warehouse for animal products. Flower. Okay, so we could probably use another uh, warehouse for flour that we just put in. Okay, we have room for 727 workers. We need 800 to get up to level 5. Let's get a couple more medium crop fields. I have a worker's barracks here, don't I? Fire maintenance building. Let's put that in. And worker's barracks. We've already got a couple in there by the looks of it. Okay, workers will want somewhere to play. So we've already got a tennis court in there by the looks of it. Okay, so tennis court, basketball court. How's that doing? 926, that's plenty. Okay, and I think that'll do it for there. Okay, we're starting to get a small demand for residential. Let's see if that's filling in over here. Not really. Uh, what are you complaining about? Not enough educated workers. Oh, and our Identity is filled in quite nicely. But I don't have a district on, on this, so let's do that. Hillside, yeah, that's kind of appropriate. Now, do we want any policies on here? Our farming area just reached level five. Okay, that's perfect. Planning, let's go with high-tech housing. Okay, and I do want another district over this. Those two. 
And boost connections, sure. Okay, we do have traffic lights there. That's good. Okay, let's just make sure everybody has proper turning lanes. Traffic is at 82%. Any hot spots that we need to worry about? Busy, but moving good. Coming off the bridge, we're all fine there. Why are you stopped? Oh, you're parked. Okay, and yeah, take parking off of there. And other than that, it looks pretty good. At least for the first few, a couple of sections we want. Don't want uh, parking along there. Okay, and that's actually one thing that we need over here is a warehouse for goods. A good spot for that would be right about here. Warehouse. Stored resource will be commercial zone goods. Sure, let's go with high density there. Just want to make sure that at this point people are not doing something silly like stopping when they don't need to. Definitely don't want crossings there. Alrighty, so what can we put in here? That's the station. So why don't we move him down just a little bit? And we can put a park in right across the street from. Uh, what do you call it there? The train metro station. Right across from the main entrance there. Okay, why don't we add a little bit of parking right across the street there. Uh, yeah, that's looking really busy right now. Yeah, it looks like the majority of people are going down to the subway. And our bus lines look to be doing really well. <laughs> Absolutely packed here. Okay, I think I've only got the two lines going in there, right? No, no, I got four. So that one is uh, the inner city. Same with that one. Yeah, the inner city lines are really, really busy here. Looks like I have a couple of buses coming up here. More than a couple. Okay, they're all coming up here, so why don't we... Get worth their while. Okay, so I've got four lines going up here, and I've just set it up so that they all have separate stops. Okay, and our farming area is now level five. We had a factory that popped up. Let's see if we can put that in somewhere. Okay, industrial steel plant. It's not a good area for that. I think I have paper, but I definitely don't have plastic. Okay, those and just a bakery. Why don't we just extend this road out a bit and then we will call it here for today. Do Well, do a bit of detailing. Our bakery in over here. Right across the way we'll stick our house. Okay, and I think I need another warehouse out here for uh, just regular commercial goods. Smooth this out a bit if I can. I think a little bit of parking out here wouldn't be a miss. I think that's our build for today. Let's just uh, do a bit of detailing.
Okay, so it seems that I have left things a little bit late today. So I have other things that I need to take care of. So I'll come back and take care of the detailing another time. Just did a little bit around the train station here. But I think we did a pretty decent job today. We've got the start of an entertainment district up here. A little residential district to support that and we've added in a whole bunch of train let well one train line and we've planned out where the other ones are going to be going uh, we've got a subway line going in and we expanded our farming industry up to a level five what else did we do uh, we moved maple leaf curtains from down here so i'll need to redo this little area Call it there for today. And if you like what you see, then uh, leave a comment down below. You know, comments, questions, suggestions are always welcome. Uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. And other than that, I will see you next time.